Hi Galatas, welcome back to my channel. Today we will take a look at another remaster lightning collection, Mighty Morphin Yellow Ranger. Initially, I not intended to purchase these Yellow Rangers, mainly it's because I already have two lightning collection Yellow Rangers. However, I changed my mind after playing around that remaster Blue Ranger. In my opinion, they actually did a very good job on their remastered Blue Ranger. The body proportion of that figure are better, and it also come with a morpher that we able to pose him in morphing pose. So I decided to purchase these Yellow Rangers, and definitely will get the others remaster figure in the future so that I can display all of them in morphine pose but there is another but in the recent announcement they decided to exclude the human head scope in their remastered red ranger now i a bit the llama should i continue to purchase all the remastered mighty morphine power ranger or just stop what is your thought this is lightning collection remastered version mighty morphine yellow ranger I like this colorful Yellow Rangers artwork at the front of the box. A photo shoot on the figure here as well. 30 years Power Rangers logo here. Nothing interesting at the bottom of the box. A photo shoot on the figure in Morphin pose at the side of the box. Very nice artwork of our Mighty Morphin Power Rangers member at another side. Same photo shoot on the figure in Morphin pose at the back of the box. And here is all the weapons and accessories come with this figure. I don't have much complaint on this Yellow Ranger's helmet. It looks decent. The saber to tiger head is nicely sculpted on the helmet. The tooth of the tiger on the visor are nicely painted in silver. And the eyes also painted in black. They also scope out the tiger's ears on the top of the helmet. Here is previous lightning collection yellow rangers for comparison. As you can see the pattern of the tiger head are slightly different. The shape of the tiger eyes are different and the tooth on the visor also slightly different. Personally I like the remaster version. The upper torso of remaster version looks better. The body size looks much natural and accurate as a real human body. Previous version looks a bit too thin. The shape of the rumbles as well as the cloth winger details on both figures are slightly different. The bicep on the remaster version looks much better. In previous version, the bicep here is too thin and not really looks like a real human hand. The rumbles printed on the glove on both figures are slightly different. Pinless double elbow joint on new remastered yellow rangers. The design on the elbow here looks much better. The details on the morpher are nicely painted. They also have these black paint apps on the power coin to highlight out the saber tooth tiger on the power coin. Black line paint apps on the belt as well as on the holster. But the paint apps here are not very good. Compared with previous version, we don't have any black paint apps on the power coin to highlight out the saber tooth tiger and the details on the power coin looks blur. We also don't have the black line paint apps on the belt as well as on the holster. The yellow use on the knee pad looks a bit different with the yellow on the body. It looks quite obvious under the studio light. We have pinless knee joint here. Compared with the previous version, previous version has this obvious pin joint on the knee. Knee pad on the previous version looks better because we don't have any color variants. But the remaster version definitely looks better with this pinless joint design. The head can turn 360 degree, look up, and look down. 
if you remove the helmet you can see the neck is the dumbbell joint and the bottom half of the neck able to fully rotate butterfly joint here can move forward and backward hand hinge outward 90 degree fully rotate shriver on the bicep double joint here the elbow joint able to hinge up over 90 degree shriver on the glove wrist able to fully rotate vertical hinge joint on the wrist for more of a holding hand and the open left hand also has this vertical hinge joint diaphragm joint here upper torso able to fully rotate as well as side to side pivot hinge joint on the abs and the figure able to bend forward that much and bend backward that much the leg able to split outward that much we have drop down feature on the tight area and able us to slightly extend its leg before drop down the leg able to kick about 90 degree after drop down now the leg able to kick our work above 90 degree upper tight shriver shriver on the boot as well double knee joint the knee able to bend over 90 degree side to side pivot on the feet and the feet able to hinge upward and downward here are all the weapons or accessories out from the packaging we have a new trini head scope with this ponytail hairstyle at the side wow i think it looks good it really looks like the actors in the series the hair details are nicely sculpted out and the paint apps on the face details also looks good here is the trini head scope from previous version the head scope actually looks good just the skin looks a bit too pure apart from this both head scope looks quite accurate you can see the lightness of the actors this figure also comes with this two effect part a blade blaster in this storage mode blade blaster in this saw mode they depend out the blade in silver blade blaster in this gun mode the paint apps on the gun not really looks good we have two power dagger molded in yellow plastic although they did scope up the saber tooth tiger on the power coin but the details here looks a bit blur but we still able to see the saber tooth tiger sculpted on the power coin too bad they don't have the black touch up to highlight out the saber tooth tiger on the power coin just like they did on the morpher here is the power dagger from previous yellow rangers the main difference is the color on the power coin one is in gold and another in silver in previous version the whole blade are painted in silver but in the new one some of the part on the blade is remain in yellow a karate chop right hand in this horizontal hinge joint a left closed fist in this horizontal hinge joint as well a pair of weapon holding hand with this tiger cross star and the hand is in this vertical hinge joint a pair of hand in this morphine pose right hand is for holding the morpher and the left hand is in this open star a morpher we have this black paint apps on the power coin to highlight out the saber tooth tiger and all the details on the morpher are nicely painted out this morpher is small but the details and the paint apps on the morpher is good just insert the handle on the back of the morpher into the morpher holding hand it's morphine time saber tooth tiger Our Yellow Rangers is in 6 inch height Blue Ranger Remaster version Yellow and Pink Ranger Black and Blue Rangers Red and White Rangers Marvel Legend Mouse Spider-Man Amazing Spider-Man Marvel's Wong Mr. Nike Zeddy Spider-Man Zeddy Iron Man 
Studio Series Blaster, Siege Iron Height, Studio Series Eraser, Bumblebee, Ultraman Balia, and last but not least, our Master Grade R at 78 Gundam. Once again, this is an awesome figure. Like the remastered Blue Ranger, these Yellow Rangers come with a lot of weapons and accessories. I love the extra morpher. I would love to post all my MMPR Power Rangers together in their morphing pose. They surely will look awesome. Too bad the Red Rangers won't come with the human head scope. I prefer them to give us Jason head scope instead of Dragon Shield. That Dragon Shield should come with Green Rangers, not the Red Rangers but luckily I still have the Jason head scope from previous Lightning Correction Red Rangers. The Trini head scope from this Yellow Rangers looks awesome. You can see the lightningness of the actor. The skin paint apps on this head scope are better compared with previous version. Previous Trini head scope looks too pure to me. Aside from that, Finally, we have double elbow joint on female's rangers. The body proportion on this figure also looks more natural and close with actual human body. Previous version looks a bit too thin. So overall, this is a great figure. It definitely is an upgrade version of yellow rangers. I will highly recommend this figure to you. Thanks for watching. Remember to come to visit our channel again. Please subscribe our channel if you like our video. Your support is very important to us. As always, here we keep playing, keep building, and keep dreaming. Stay safe and see you in next video. Ciao! video we asked what is this figure bumblebee